the main thing in my work is how do materials behave and, and material tra and transformation. I find it really interesting to highlight the qualities in mundane materials. My name is Matea Bakula. I'm a visual artist. I was born in Bosnia and Herzegovina. I make uh, mostly sculptures, sometimes also installations. The U-foam is one of the materials that I find really fascinating. It started when I saw these ugly brown dots in this old building. It looked like this chemical mold. I basically took it out of its natural habitat and um, took it in my studio and trying to figure out what kind of properties it have. You have soft PU foam, that's this, it's also squishy. <laughs> and uh, this is hard PU foam. So the more properties um, a material has, the more fascinating it is. If a, if a material grabs me, then I start experimenting with it. But I always make sure that the properties of the of, of, of particular material are also still visible. For example, here, you, if you see those brown dots in the building, they, they would more look like this. My, my brain starts working like, how can I transform this, what, it, what I find so fascinating, to, to make it more aesthetically pleasing and, and more valuable. We can also discuss what does valuable, what, what value, what does that word even mean? What is value? We base that on, on the quantity. So I like to look at it differently. I like to look at a material, how many properties does it, does it have? The, the more properties, the more valuable it is. For, for example, plastic. On average, we use a plastic bag for like 50 minutes, but it can survive 36,000 years. That's so fascinating. 36,000 years, but because it's everywhere, we don't, we don't value it. Last October, I realized a commissioned artwork for the Utrecht Archives. It's a six and a half meter sculpture. It's made out of used paper, so I uh, recycled it because I want to, um, I was earlier talking about uh, material transformation. I want to also start to study what I call material re reincarnation. So how can I reuse m materials in order to yeah, also like downsize my ecological footsteps, but not, n not in a way that it screams like, oh, this is recycled art. The reason why I use paper in the, in the Utrecht archives is because I wanted the sculpture to be an inherent part of the archives because to preserve those do documents, they, they do everything to make sure that there's no material transformation. So they used uh, special lighting, they use special storage. And what I wanted to do is to make a sculpture to show you what would happen if that material transformation would take place. So what I did, I grinded it up to, to, to make my own paper and I used different pigments. But those pigments vary from light fast, that, that means that the pigment will not change of colors. And some pigments that will fade away during the years. This is another experiment what I, uh, what I did with soft PU foam. And I really wanted to uh, see how flexible it is to really highlight the flexibility of that material. I did that by combining it with a really very rigid material, plaster. And what I find really fascinating is you, you see the clash of the materials. You see how they interact with each other. In a way, I would like people to touch my artwork, but in a way also I don't want to. If, if an artwork gets touched a lot of times, it just, it will shorten the lifespan. But I do really get why you want to touch my artworks. I get it. <laughs>